Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mari Dominguez and you're watching A Little Bit of Everything. As you can see by what's behind me, I am going to share with you today um, me working on my Christmas tablescape. So, let's get started. And we're going to start with this beautiful tablecloth. I got this one last year at Hobby Lobby for 50% off, and this year they had even more amazing tablecloths. Hopefully I get to them before the season is over, maybe even after the season sales, and save them for next year, right? So let's lay this out. This is an oblong one because I have an odd-shaped oval table, and uh, with six chairs and it has a removable leaf. I like to get the ones that are a little bit bigger than the table so that it can like hang over on the sides a little. I don't know, I'm crazy that way. I don't know, anybody else crazy like me? Like I said in my last um, video tablescape tutorial hopefully one day I'll have one of those tables where you can seat 10 or 12 people that's like my dream maybe I can even make it myself one day who knows so there we have the tablecloth and remember um, I shared with you how I got this beautiful lace runner from wish absolutely beautiful I'm going to put it right in the middle, just to give it a little feminine feel. A little feminine touch. And now I'm going to put on the chargers. Now I'm a little bummed and I'm going to show you why. These were the chargers that I had wanted to lay out on my table this year. But I only found three of a kind and one of a kind. And I've been searching all the Hobby Lobby, I mean, not Hobby Lobby's Dollar Trees. I've had my husband drive me here and there and he's been going crazy and I never found them so I'm a little bummed I wasn't going to go online and purchase them because you would only be able to buy 24 that was the minimum you had to buy the whole case so I'll still keep on searching maybe before the season is over I'll I'll hit the jackpot and find a few of them but in the meantime, I'm just going to use the ones that I purchased last year, also at Hobby Lobby, for 50% off. And these are galvanized. And um, the original price to these are $4.99, so I got them at $2.50. Yeah, so let's go with the galvanized one. Like to make sure that they're right on with the t with the chair and you know as you hear me moving the chairs around now this year Walmart I'm telling you has gone 
crazy with their beautiful farmhouse, rustic, shabby chic, whatever you want to call it, Christmas, right? Well, they had these awesome little melamine plates. And I said, oh, I got to get those. The little red truck, guys. The little red truck. Can you see them? Aren't they so cute? And they were like $1.97, I want to say. So, let's lay out the plates. Starting to shape up, isn't it? Looking cute. Nice, rustic, shabby sheet, farmhouse. Now, we're going to put on now my uh, the centerpiece that I made. And I'll link that tutorial down below. Um, my little mini Christmas tree, remember? Now, one thing I did add on at the last minute was this little berry garland that Dollar Tree was carrying. I thought it was so cute and it like, you know, just wrap it around the bottom of the tree. So this is our centerpiece. And let's not forget, it lights up. Looking cute, isn't it? And my husband last year bought me all the pioneer woman stuff that was on clearance and they had these so awesomely cute salt and pepper shakers and the, like you can see the, the little barns oh my god they're so adorable so we're gonna put those on the table and dollar tree also carry these beautiful votive candle holders I put inside another votive candle holder with a candle as to not light them inside this one, but inside the other one, if you understood my gibberish there. So we're going to put these on the table. Also that feminine touch. And then... Last but not least, I have our napkins with our napkin rings. Now these napkins I purchased at Walmart last year. I think it was like four for five dollars. I don't remember. But these napkin holders I made last year for Christmas with little acorns on it. I'll also link that tutorial down below. And so uh, let's lay them out on our little plates. Now there's still room to add some more decor on the table, but I'm thinking I'm just going to leave it as is right now. And like I said, hopefully I'll be able to find those melamine plate chargers. I mean, if anybody here in SoFlo, because I live in South Florida, if you see these, let me know. Let me know. Because I'm like so bummed that I wasn't able to use these as my chargers this year. Cause it's what I wanted. I was like, oh, so wanting to see that on my table. But anyway, what do you think, guys? Let's turn off the light and see how the little tree looks. How cute is that?
I don't have them with the blinking lights. Oh, look, something I just saw. Dollar Tree also had these cute little lanterns. You can lay them out if you like on your table, you know, to give it another little, another little looky right there with uh, like, those are just ornaments. They don't have any lights in them. You could probably put some if you like. But um, what do you think, guys? I think it looks cute. Simple, cute, Christmassy. I love Christmas. What about you? So, guys, thank you for watching. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment, share, and as always, blessings to you all.